exit to one of my old Brooklyn stomping grounds and devour one of my favorite pizza specialties, Da Vinci's Pizzeria on 18th Avenue in Brooklyn. Uh, have another business partner of mine and we're going to enjoy some really good conversation regarding what's happening in today's world and uh, a few current events. Let me get a corner square and uh, a mix of um, fruit punch and orange. And uh, I also need a pie to go. Yep. I can't come here without taking a pie home. Hey, we're here with Vinny DiMartino from Reliable Design Construction. Uh, very good old friend of mine. Not too old, I won't, I won't date us. We go back uh, many, many years. Um, not only do you do construction, you also do uh, great detail work, which is really what I love about Reliable Design. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you and your company? Started in the business roughly around 2008. We've been doing this, started off building houses. Yep, on Staten Island. And we broke into renovations when the housing market kind of softened up. And we've been doing res res uh, complete renovations ever since. Ever since, nice. What do you, is there, is there anything you guys um, prefer or um, you, that you feel is your niche in regards to the renovations? In Manhattan, we do a lot of uh, apartment mergers. We buy okay. two apartments, we blend them into one, take away a kitchen, make a laundry room, do a lot of stuff like that. In, in uh, Brooklyn, we'll take the, you know, the three stories that were always three different apartments and merge them into one big apartment that one family's now gonna live in and maybe they're gonna rent one floor out and that's it, but they're gonna use the rest for their own residence. Oh, that's great. I mean, do you, are you also an investor? Do you also uh, buy property and yeah. sell property? Are, are you yeah, we, we did a lot of stuff in the Red Hook area. did a lot of stuff in downtown of, uh, like, the Sand Lane area of Staten Island. We bought, bought and re redid entire buildings, and I wound up selling them out. A couple we still hold and have them fully rented up. So, What's your partner Lewis's specialty? Lewis is the ground guy. He goes from job to job each day, him and his son. And we have, a, we have a driver, they go back and forth to all the different jobs, they load the jobs, because that's one of the There's things. no better guy I know that can keep an eye on things than Lewis. That's, when that's it, really when great. It, when it comes to getting on top of people and getting them onto the job site, that's Lewis's special thing. That's great. He squares all the details off. What, what do you know about us? What do you know about Freedom Mortgage and, and specifically the home team? Well, when it comes to mortgages, we've been referring to you for years. Yes. No matter where you've been. And I appreciate you've that. You've done my own personal mortgage numerous times. You've done family members of my mortgages. And that's why we've been friends. And that's why we've been doing business together for 15, 20 years. Yeah, well, I appreciate you. We definitely appreciate you. We appreciate you having a slice with us. I'd like to give this a little taste. Then we'll finish this interview. But I don't want it to get too cold, even though it's 100 degrees out here today. All right, we'll go for it. Mmm. This is definitely my favorite spot. What's your favorite spot for pizza? Not greasy, nice taste, crunchy. That's how I like it. Where'd you grow up, Vin? Grew up in Brooklyn. I was here till I was in fourth grade, then moved to New Jersey. Been in Jersey ever since. Where'd you live on? 60th? 59th. 59th. Between 20th and 21st. Yep. Went to St. A's. Yep, I know well. Me That's too. We were together. <laughs> That's how long we know each That's other. That's how long we know each other. St. A's, St. Athanasius. And we're here just for those people who don't know, this is Da Vinci's Pizza, obviously, but we're here on 18th Avenue and uh, 65th Street between 65th and 66th. Um, there used to be a feast uh, around this time of the year. That's right. So and we'd probably, be, off, be enjoying yeah, it. we'd probably be eating some uh, Lucy sausage sandwiches at this point right now. Where do, you, um, where do you see the current market going? Where do you see, like, with the migration and everything that's happening? Do you see, um, I, I know you were in North Carolina for a while, correct? Oh, yeah. Run out there for three years. My wife had an opportunity with her company to go out there, and I was able to move wherever, so it didn't matter for me. Then we came back. We've been in Jersey ever since. But we're seeing right now, Manhattan. The Manhattanites are, are running. People are moving out of the city. Yeah. You know the numbers are coming down. The higher end apartments, you know, beyond the one eights, the twos, those numbers are getting real soft. That six to seven hundred is going to get a little strengthened. Yep. Because people can afford those, but the families are, you know, not not super comfortable in Manhattan. Yeah, and you know, uh, I read an article in Wall Street Journal that said that uh, real estate was hurting in Staten Island. That's not happening I right now. I, I mean, it. we're doing pre-approvals, houses, they're accepting offers within five, 10 minutes. Yep. It's just been, it's been a crazy market. Staten Island has always been strong. They yeah. always stay strong. Other, certain areas will pop and become the stronger areas, but for the whole, for the most, the Staten Island's pretty staunch. What, what are you seeing right now as the major uh, movement in your market area in regards to um, renovations, uh, roof raises, um, uh, rebuilds? You see a lot of people, they're staying in their houses, they're adding decks, they're adding patios, they're converting bedrooms, 
trying to make that home so that they can get a lot more stuff done in it. Whether their kids moved out and now they're putting an office in, or they have a new baby and they got to convert an office back so they can have more room for the baby. So that's what we're seeing a lot on Staten Island. Maybe they're adding a little bit, try to gain as much square footage out of the lots that they currently have. Same thing. I mean, with uh, we have Freedom Mortgage, you've seen a lot of 203K loans, which are construction loans. Um, a lot of roof raises, a lot of blowouts, a lot of additions. Um, the good thing is there, there is a little bit of property for some homeowners that are, that are getting these things done. If you go to Toad Hill, and houses seem to just be on top of each other. It's hard to do They're anything there. as much as they can within their footprint. Yeah. And that's one of the great things. We're talking about your the mortgage company. We know that if we send the client to you, they're going to get the money they need. They're going to get a quick approval, and they're going to get their job done. And that's why we've been doing that business. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for the plug. <laughs> it's all good. Honesty. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. So, what are you doing for the rest of the day? After this, it's back to Jersey. Get on the estimates. I just was out. I was in uh, Manhattan today looking at a couple of estimates. So my nephew was in Staten Island looking at an estimate, and we have one. Uh, we'll be looking at an estimate in Brooklyn on Monday. So the boroughs right now, they're still busy. Manhattan's hurting us because they're not allowing new work to start because of everything that's going on with COVID. So many people are home in their apartment buildings working. Kids are learning from home. They're not going to school. They don't want to have noise. So they're trying to stop that disruption from going on. So things that the Blasio is doing in the city, not only are they hurting the families, they're hurting the businesses as well. And that's why people are leaving. <laughs> that's right. That's why people it's are running It's pretty out. simple, yeah. yeah. Well, we appreciate you uh, speaking with us today. We appreciate you making the trip down. Um, we know it's hot out. As you can tell, I'm sweating. Um, but at least we got some good pizza, some good conversation. Just got through with a great talk with a good friend of mine, Sal Criscola from Freedom Mortgage. No Sal for 50 plus years. Been doing business together. I refer business to him, he refers business to me. He's one of the top guys out in the brokerage industry. We just enjoyed a great slice. Took a pie to go from Da Vinci's here on 18th Avenue in Brooklyn. Come on down, you gotta enjoy this place just like we just did. Old friends spent a good five, 10 minutes just chatting about old things that are going on in the marketplace regarding real estate, regarding mortgages. And uh, how do people get in touch with Reliable Design? You can reach out to us, uh, you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram, or you can reach out to info at reliabledesigninc.com, and you can contact either myself or Lewis. And if that doesn't work, just call me, I get in touch with them. That'll, they pick, work. They That'll pick, work too. They pick up their <laughs> phone real quick like me, so I, I have no problem dealing with them. They were actually here before us. So yeah, they have to make sure that the pizza gets delivered to the house. It's a, represent, a representation of the company itself. I mean, last time I was here, I saw the same thing. They don't deliver direct, they use Grubhub, DoorDash, one of those companies. It came right out, walked over to the guy and said, that's not how you hold the pizza, hold it the right way. And then when he gets there, it's delivered the same way he makes it here at the place. Yeah, I mean, and Da Vinci that, style. Da Vinci style. And that's why this place is open, will stay open, will always be open, no matter what. And that's why it's one of my favorites. They care about the people and they care about the product. Like we do. You gotta hey. expect the man or the man to finish to be the right way. Correct, 100%. Everything that's happened currently, the way things are changing and, and shaping up between Manhattan, Brooklyn, Staten Island, within the boroughs. Things are looking good. I'm looking forward to sending more recommendations to Sal, and Sal will be doing the same for me. It was another great day here in Brooklyn. Great interview today with Vinny DiMartino of Reliable Design, Construction, and Contracting. A uh, very dear friend of mine. Uh, the reason I really recommend them, and uh, they are a referral partner of mine, is just because of their detail work. Uh, when I do refer a client to them, the client always comes back with good things to tell me. And uh, not only that, but uh, they've referred other people to other people. So not only am I referring people, but I'm creating a network uh, within a network um, just of people who actually care about what they do and care about their clients, which is why the relationship between myself and the home team of Freedom Mortgage and this particular builder contractor uh, has been really uh, a huge success for me. Great interview earlier uh, with uh, Mario Perez, uh, Mario Perez Esquire, uh, who's also a retired uh, NYPD sergeant, has a lot of views on that, um, which <laughs> we need to confirm or deny as a company. Um, but uh, Mario does bring a lot to the table when it regards to knowledge and when it comes to real estate and uh, closings and mortgages and title work and being able to clear title and record documents and so on and so forth. Um, his extensive uh, resource with the building departments 
and his resource uh, within the um, within the local municipalities as well has really been helpful for me and all of my associates and constituents. And we really appreciate him. We really appreciate everybody taking the time out today uh, to have a slice of Sal. Time. What's needed to purchase a home? 